The holiday season may be behind us, but for some people, the start of the new year may be the perfect time to reflect back on our own behaviors or of relatives, friends, and coworkers and their drinking patterns. Alcohol related problems which result from drinking too much, too fast, or too often affect more than 15 million U.S. adults ages 18 and older. Dr. George Koob, director of the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism and an internationally recognized expert on alcohol and addiction, joins us today with tips to identify signs of an alcohol use disorder and ways also to get help. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us today. You're most welcome. Happy to help. Well, Doctor, mm -hmm. let's start maybe with um, some signs of alcohol disorder that may have arised over the holidays and what we may have seen. Well, some of these are quite subtle or can be quite subtle. For example, a person may uh, only go to parties where alcohol is being served. Um, possibly they watched all their favorite football games in one continuous drinking uh, bout. Um, but it, they can get a little more serious in that every time they drink, they're having a fight with a family member or a loved one, and they're getting into uh, arguments. So it can range from, you know, fairly subtle observations to, to more intense interpersonal impairment in social and occupational functioning. And if somebody maybe saw some of these signs or maybe even see some of these signs within themselves, is there something we can do to get help or to help someone else? Yes, I mean, one of our recommendations is to check out our website, uh, Rethinking Drinking. It's uh, rethinkingdrinking.niaa.nih.gov, but if you just Google Rethinking Drinking, it'll come up. Um, and there's lots of advice there about, you know, what, what's normative drinking, you know, how many calories in a drink, how much alcohol is in a drink, uh, what, what is, uh, you know, a high dose of drinking. But it also has references to other websites uh, for treatment options and, <clears throat> and rethinking you know, exactly what you are doing yourself in your drinking patterns. Um, the second is, you know, I, it, it sounds common sense, but uh, you know, an annual physical with a, with a primary care doctor who's enlightened about alcohol is probably a good thing to do for everyone if they have some concerns because uh, your primary care doc can pick up uh, fairly subtle changes in your physiology that may indicate that maybe you've been overdoing it. Well, and I know you mentioned just a moment ago um, a little bit about the treatments that are available. Can you kind of dive into that a little bit more? Yeah, the treatments out there are, are, are actually vast. I mean, we, we have everything from Alcoholics Anonymous, which is a, a you know, a mutual support group, but there are also 12-step programs outside of the framework of Alcoholics Anonymous. There are behavioral treatments that range from counseling with counselors and psychiatrists and clinical psychologists range from cognitive behavioral therapy to motivational interviewing to family counseling. And there are three medications on the market approved by the Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of alcohol use disorders. Not many Americans realize that. Well, and the reason we're talking today, doctor, is to kind of get those resources out there, get a little bit of education into the hands of the people that need it. So can you give us that information uh, on the website to go to and where we can get more uh, help? Uh, yeah, again, re start with Rethinking Drinking or the NIAAA website. Either one, you Google Rethinking Drinking as one word, or you simply uh, Google NIAAA, you'll find the websites and access to treatment brochures and pamphlets, as well as just uh, general knowledge about, you know, where you are at as an individual and your drinking uh, habits. Well, doctor, this is definitely hitting home with someone that's listening right now. So again, I want to thank you so much for being with us. You're most welcome. And thank you for having me. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.